Alright, I don't, I don't, like, I'm, I'm gonna try to be as quiet as possible. Um. But I've just been lying here and, um. I woke up at five. Because I had to pee, but I couldn't fall back asleep. I've just been thinking. And, um, the massacre in, uh, Rafa, I was thinking, man, like, the Israeli government sent out these flyers and all this bullshit and said that this encampment was, was safe, right? The government of Israel said this camp was safe. There'll be no harm. You know, the camp is mostly children and usually a couple women. Usually their fathers, the women die fast. Um, usually taken and raped to death by the Israeli soldiers. But I was thinking, you remember that part in the Bible where they said, uh, and they will say that there would be peace and safety, but then come sudden destruction once they declare peace and safety. I'm wondering if that part of the Bible was fulfilled through Rafa, you know, because they did say it was peaceful and it was safe. And then when everyone was sleeping... They killed those poor babies and beheaded them. And those images that I saw yesterday, waking up to them, I think really has like extremely changed me and shown me how truly precious life is now. Everyone should cherish life. <sighs> these, these, these leaders, they, they don't care about us. They don't care about us. They don't, they don't. Like, Biden can hear all this stuff about beheaded babies. This man holding up his dead child, trying to show it to anyone. Everyone else was looking for their children, and he saw his child. And it's like, he didn't know what to do. Hey. Like, How can these monsters live with themselves? How can Biden, on Memorial Day, go and put wreaths on all these dead soldiers' graves, but then completely deny of what happened? Biden's evil. The atro like there's just just like they 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 all thought they could like get away with it. They never thought that the Palestinians are recognizing that their people are dying without video evidence. So instead, they're pulling out their phones and they're showing the world what these monsters are doing. And and if we don't protect Palestine, it's gonna happen to us. You know. It's like that old adage, you know, when I saw it happen to the Jews, I did nothing. When I saw it happen to the blacks, I did nothing. You know, when it happened to me, then I had a problem. You have the same government in Canada? Yeah. 
Trudeau is just as nasty, just as gross. I heard what that one Catholic monastery did to the native people about like a hundred years ago, I think. And they, there's just this mass graves in Canada of these dead native people that the Catholic Church murdered. <laughs> of course, you know, Benjamin Netanyahu says it was a grave mistake. Really? A grave mistake while all week long prior to that, you were talking about bombing Rafa. You did bomb Rafa. It, it, where is Biden with this, you know, <laughs> this red line? Where's your red line, Biden? I didn't see any beheaded babies. You fucking liar piece of shit. <laughs> you didn't see no fucking beheaded babies. We all saw it. We all saw this poor man holding up his dead daughter. And then seeing him in this garbage pit just with nothing but him and Allah and he's just crying just completely his whole life just completely torn apart just so this man could have a chunk of land so he could go and sell that land to his Canadian Toronto <laughs> Jews that's what the Jewish community is doing right now in their synagogues is they're selling the land <laughs> covered in blood. You know, as soon as they're done with these atrocities, they plow down the land because they got to make money, yo. <laughs> it's disgusting. It's disgusting, and I hope something happens with the international court. But you know what? Look, look, look what they do with Trump and the bullshit he does. The judges let him get away with everything he does. So I would assume the international court is just as bullshit. They'll probably let that fucker get away with it. And he shouldn't, you know? At this point, it's just, like, best for humanity to just dismantle all the governments of the world and just get rid of all of them bastards and just try again in a better way, you know? Because this way of life ain't working for anyone. And I, I honestly don't know how BB can wake up and be fine with himself today or Biden or Kamala or Blitzen or the Israeli and or American soldiers. I don't know how they can wake up today, look themselves in the face and be like, yeah. I'm doing good for people. I'm doing good for humanity. There's, there, like, could you imagine how they're, like, how cold they're probably feeling right now? Maybe they feel like they're badasses. Maybe they got a do dose of endorphins. I don't know. But if it was me and I knew I was responsible for such horrible things... I couldn't look myself in the mirror. I wouldn't want anyone to look at me. I, I certainly couldn't leave a, lead a country after that happened. You know? But, yeah. I go back to the massacre and all I can see in my head is when they say peace and safety there comes sudden destruction and that's basically what happened I guess two nights ago now but those images 
I made sure that they're cemented in my brain. I made sure to never forget about what happened. I'm making sure of that because it shouldn't be forgotten. They want us to forget about it. I can't imagine not having any conscience at all. Yeah, same. Genocide, we knew this was coming. The world is to turn cold. Our governments have turned cold. But I know there's still good people out there that want the best for everyone. Or at least partially the best for everyone. I don't know. Some people can be like that. Me, I, I wish everyone the best. But my logical side of my mind, I know that's probably not going to happen. I know that if they do what they do at Rafa and get away with it, they're going to do it here. Good morning, Shani. We're up. What happened in Rafa is just a test to see how humanity would react to seeing such thing. Yeah. Me, I feel drained today. I feel like I'm in this complete state of mourning. Very similar feelings I'm having. The same, like, you, you know, 9-11. Um, like, the same feelings that I had at 9-11. I'm, like, having now, like, I, I I could never do what they do. I couldn't imagine being that type of person doing what they do. Unfortunately, we aren't going to see peace in our lifetime. I don't think so. Not with these monsters running around the way they are. I wouldn't even call them human at this point. Like, they, they just strip themselves... Of all humanity. I like. I'm really sad about it. It's like. I found these. This. This Palestinian. Page. And it was. Just show him what the children in Rafa are, because I was, you know, I've been following what's been going on, and I was watching these kids for a week. And I was just, oh, they're so sweet. They're so beautiful. And to know that they were and they're gone, these beautiful children. I the screams of the mothers, the screams of the fathers. I went through this with my grandparents regarding the Holocaust. I still cry. I know, man. Like, we were... Since I was a kid. In school, we were taught about the atrocities of the Holocaust. You know, and... I remember, you know, when I wasn't in school, I was watching the History Channel about all that stuff. It, 
and, 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 and the sad thing to, to, to know that Israel is doing the same thing. I, I just, it, it's I, what the Israeli government did is a betrayal to their the Israeli people too. You know, you're you're reminding Holocaust survivors and and children of Holocaust survivors and grandchildren to just remember those things. And it's your own fucking government doing these things. Like, why is this, why is Israel there? It was sad because of the things that Hitler did. But now Benjamin Netanyahu has turned into Hitler. Like, I, I thought we were against this type of shit in this world. And that, that fucking man is trying to justify it. And I, I... If you see what happened last night and it doesn't break your heart and and question everything, I, like, I don't... I sit, you, you gotta be stripped of your humanity card. You just, you just do. And I feel so bad and all I can do is just apologize to this people over what my government is doing and let them know that I'm not for what the government is doing. And letting them know that most civilians aren't back in this shit up. You know, and most of this stuff, Ariel, or not Ariel Sharon, Jesus. I'm not in that lit days. Uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, like, <sighs> sorry, y'all. Like, <sighs> Why would you betray your people like this for land just so you could sell it in Toronto, Canada? Like, how is that legal of people selling land in Toronto, Canada? How is that even fucking legal? I know it's affected me passionately, but like, this happened to my Irish ancestors. This happened to my native ancestors. <laughs> like if you have that type of blood where your family was oppressed and raped and enslaved, It hits you differently, I guess. Because you have your family, family's oral history. And you know what your family did to survive. It hits you differently. Yes. We should pray for everyone in Israel right now. Even Benjamin Netanyahu. Pray that God softens his heart. And make him realize his transgressions. And what he did to innocent babies. But in my opinion, if I was the international court, 
I would throw Netanyahu in jail. Joe Biden needs to go to jail. Joe Biden really needs to be held accountable for this. And the Ukraine. You know, you, you remember with both Biden and Trump, it was always these talks about the Ukraine. You know, Hillary looked at the Ukraine and she saw dollar signs. Hillary Clinton, there's videos on that. It just, it, it makes me sick how they bomb these places down. <laughs> then plow the land so it's flattened. And then it's resold in Canada by some synagogue. <laughs> what? You mean you purposely kill these people to take the land, plow it down, and sell it in Canada? Are you telling me that that Biden gives these monsters tens of million, billions of dollars so they can continue this? onslaught and not only that they're talking about the next next pandemic they want us trapped in our houses they say there's the they say they are making vaccines right now for the next pandemic even though they say they don't know what it's going to be so how can you make a vaccine of something if you don't know what you're making a vaccine for? <laughs> they make vaccines so they can give it to people to not be exposed to a virus that they created. That's my theory is the so-called pandemics is bullshit. It's bullshit. Like, you can't make a vaccine if you don't know what you're making a vaccine for. That's ridiculous. That's so fucking dumb. The blood talks about this. War in the Holy Land is a sign of the end times. Yeah, thank God. Jesus really does need to come and just change things. But um, thank you for listening to me, guys. I'm going to go now. Probably cry some more. Just pray for the people in Rafa and Palestine. In Israel, just pray for everyone. Pray that the government's hearts are softened. And pray for the people of Palestine that they can live through this and still stay strong with their beautiful spirits. They are a beautiful people. They're smiling and still have a joy of life, even though they go through hell. I... I don't understand that. So, my links are in my description if you're interested on donating. You know, at this point, I'm just like, give to the people of Palestine, not me, but it's like, I'm hungry too. Uh, but, um, Thank you for all the support, all the love. Just pray up. 
And fast if you need to. I'm kind of forced to fasten, but that's okay. Uh, just fast if you have to. And, and just know that God loves you no matter what. And because he loves you, and because he created all of us, we should respect his creations and not kill them. All right. I love you guys. Take care.